At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent, being there day and night, and building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica. Empathy is our best policy. Hi, I'm Fran, and I love the Lifetime Game Show Palooza so much that uh, we brought it back <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I'm Patrick Serrano, and I'm a Lifetime Movie Expert, and I am the host of this game show. Uh, I'm Dan, and I love the second annual Lifetime <laughs> Game Show Palooza, and this is the Deck the, the Life of My Girl Podcast. Deck the Marcus's Podcast. Uh, the reviews were in. Yeah, I, listen, we couldn't I, wait another year. I'm not not excited for this. We were very clear <laughs> that we were trying to crack games. Yes, and we did. And it, it was the first annual we cracked lifetime game show Palooza. And right. a mere two weeks later, <laughs> we're doing another one. When you crack games, why wait? That's right. It's wide open. We sure. crack games wide open. Patrick, Absolutely. you're, you're back. You're back for another game show Palooza. Right. Still don't know anything about game shows. Still not thinking of myself as a host, but here we are. Here we are. Now, how? The, obviously, the feedback was great. People loved it. When we announced on social media that this week we were having a second annual, the I think the only buzz I've seen for this week, Aaron, is people being excited for another Palooza episode. Yeah, I mean, when last week's episode aired, there were a lot of comments on how much fun it was. And then when the schedule dropped on Sunday, just a lot of comments, feedback in the Facebook group. Yeah, they're excited. Just happy, they're excited. happy to have Patrick back, Amen. but double excited uh, for... Uh, a palooza. I love how you said, the way you said it, though, is the only buzz for I, the whole week. <laughs> no, I didn't see any other comments related yes, to correct. anything else we were doing this right. week. Game show slow, slow news week. Slow, slow news, news week. Slow week. Yeah, that That's is for true. sure. Yeah. Um, Patrick, I'll take it. I'll take it. After doing, uh, now that we have uh, Palooza under our belt, collective <laughs> right. belt, um, anything you're changing uh, this week? Anything that you're kind of, that you're, you know, you're fine tuning? Well, nothing stays the same, you know, because I'm winging it the, the whole time. So I, I don't have the same segments. It's totally different. It's, uh, wow. you know, it's okay. a totally different. Totally different totally show. Totally different. Now, I will say one thing that is not totally different is me winning, Dan losing, because as everybody remembers, oh last Palooza, I we all remember that was you victorious. Won the Palooza last year. Last the last year's last year's <laughs> last year's Palooza. Right. This year, new year, new me. Yeah. So there that's pretty. Go. That's pretty so, big. And I will just say double or nothing. Now that I know what that <laughs> means. Or now that I know what it okay. means. Double or the nothing. Because we're not going to tell anybody what the bet was last week. But no. this week it is double or no, nothing. Double or nothing. Which means I can win one. <laughs> that's no. I've been told that's not how it works. Or else I'd have a hat right now. Anyway, this isn't for you, Patrick. Yeah, it isn't for you. Right. This, isn't for anybody, this doesn't concern really you. Outside of the office. What does concern you is the <laughs> lifetime game show Palooza. I will uh, let you take it away. Okay, so I learned last time that scoring is so important to you guys and like know, knowing how the scoring works. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't tweak that at all. That hasn't changed. I, I didn't think about the scoring at all. So, <laughs> Great. you know, we'll, we'll just go with it. So you guys um, are going to compete in a uh, lifetime quiz uh, and we'll have a couple segments. I have a tiebreaker this time in case because last time I think we tied um, and then I had to think of something on the fly. So. Um, it's close. We're it feels like do... he's trying to take away That's from right. my it was win. Close. But... It was that close. Double or nothing. Yeah, yeah. And you both are lifetime experts, just like me now. I mean, we've been wow. doing the, the recaps for so long so now. I've never I think really guys... seen a movie to get that honor. To yeah. get that honor. Yeah, it's but... fantastic. Yeah. It, what is it? Like a thousand hours of doing something? I'm pretty sure it's 10,000 is what Malcolm Gladwell said. Oh. <laughs> so, so we're well, 10% uh, experts. You've probably put in 10,000 hours, though. Right. Oh yeah, I, I definitely have put in ten thousand hours. But you know, I was saying like recording the podcast. Yeah, a thousand hours sounds good. Sure. <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah. All Let's right. Let's go for it. So our first segment, um, <laughs> uh, uh, which I've entitled "How'd You Die," 
Um, Dude, I'm going to tell you guys about a Lifetime movie, and you are going to tell me how they died. Okay? Or they're all related to death. Not necessarily how you died, but pretty much like, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Um, how do you guys feel about death in general? I love it. Yeah, we're big. Big on fans, that here. big proponents. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I mean, it happens. I a think lot everyone in like should do movies. it one day. I think everybody should do it one it, day. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen whether you want it to or not. Yeah. Um. So I went with an oldie but a goodie that I I feel like you guys should know about. Um, being lifetime experts like me, Uh-oh. and um, a lot of the listeners are going to know the answer to this right away. Um, but the so I'm going with the old original Lifetime movie. It actually aired on NBC. It's called Death of a Cheerleader. Okay. And it uh, has our, our fa- best. Fr- you guys have heard of it? No. No. No, not even a little bit, Patrick. Oh, really? Oh, it, it, the, used to be called, uh, it used to be called A Friend to Die For. Oh, that now that you no, I still have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> okay, great. Um, the question to you all is, how did the titular cheerleader played by Tori Spelling, of course, we all lo- know and love. Um, how did she die? How did the death of the cheerleader happen? What if we both give an answer? Yeah. And then we determined we hear the real one. And then you and I together have to come up with a consensus of who is closer. <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So would we get nothing else? Um, well, I do have a, a, B, C, D. Okay. Um, but oh, I, okay. but well, I would I like, like that. You guys- I like A, B, C, okay. D way better. Go ahead. Okay. Great, great, great. So, uh, Option A. Option A is Kelly Martin stabs Tori Spelling with a pocket knife they both received when they were friends um, in Girl Scouts. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Okay. So that's a one tiny option. Little knife, it's a tiny knife to die from. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little knife. It also um, has nothing to do with cheerleading, isn't friend, it? A cheer, a, yeah, but it's also a friend to die for. Oh, it's a, I thought it was a cheerleader. Both, oh. both of the well, titles. Well, Tori Spelling plays a cheerleader, but... Um, but that's all, all you get from the title, Death of a Cheerleader. Fair. So okay. I, I won't give any more details. Um, Kelly Martin stabs, this is option B, Kelly Martin stabs Tori Spelling, Spelling with a kitchen knife her sister left in the car while eating an apple. Okay. 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 Option three. Or I don't know how you, how you say these things in a, a in a, in two, a quiz. D, D. <laughs> uh, C. <laughs> Kelly Martin stabs Tori Spelling with a nail file from her purse after Tori Spelling calls her a lesbian. <laughs> okay. Right. You didn't even believe that one, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then finally, uh, option D, uh, a helicopter skiing accident. Ooh. And Bran, I would like you to play clip one. Okay. Please. Oh, is this the death? No, this is just um, a clip. <laughs> <laughs> we've cracked games yeah, the, clip, we've, the clips don't matter that's the thing you gotta know right. don't get distracted the clips don't matter here we go Laurel tells me you lost your parents this is not the death a uh, helicopter no. skiing accident in Austria they were killed with eight other people the whole side of the mountain came down <laughs> they died doing what they loved Okay, I just wanted to let you know that helicopter skiing accident is a real thing um, okay. in a lifetime movie, but not um, for this one. They died doing, but what not they for loved. this one. Getting okay, just, so it's not de- so, completely just devoured so yeah. by a mountain falling on them. Aaron, would you mind getting <laughs> yeah, rid of the, yeah, the, the chat? The chat. Has, the chat has made this. I oh, this they is, know. They know, they and know. now it's now we're now we're in a little bit of a sticky wicket here. This, they it, could be wrong. No, but. He, he gave us three stabbing ones, and then he played us a clip of the fourth one that, that isn't she, it. That isn't it. <laughs> so we narrowed it to the right. other three. The, the, the third one he clearly didn't believe. The third one he didn't believe, so I now we're down to pocket knife that they got. I don't think the Girl Scouts get, do they get, just a, they get pocket knives? No. It's got to be the knife apple. I don't thing. even know if, if our pocket knife's big enough to really do any damage. Oh, yeah. You I think, think so? If you hit a kidney or something, you could get a kidney, a heart. Oh. Bring one in. Any knife. Yeah, that's right. Bring one in. Stab me in. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the knife, uh, the yeah, kitchen knife. Two, whatever it is. That, yes. Okay. Is, yeah. Yes, you are correct. So that was Kelly Martin Steps Tori Spelling with a kitchen knife her sister left in the car while eating an apple. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. great. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and we do see a whole scene of the sister and Kelly Martin, and the sister's driving with a big knife, butcher knife, 
cutting an apple and eating little slivers of it. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Um, and I tried to think of things just as crazy, like uh, stabbing uh, yeah. someone with a nail file up and calling them a lesbian. A lesbian, yes. Because, of course. Well, that part is also true. Tori Spelling does call Kelly Martin a lesbian. Wow. And, you know. So that actually it, was a lot better yeah. of a choice than we thought it was. Wow. How about that? Yeah, My yeah, grandfather I, I snuck- would routinely get an apple from the refrigerator, sit in his recliner, pull a pocket knife out of his pocket, yeah. and then just start peeling off pieces of apple and eating them off the knife like he was some sort of oh, pirate yep yeah yeah it's just a normal exactly. thing that's a thing that's for, a thing. for him to do all right okay okay people well the, people that's, in the why, chat, that's why i did that question people in the yeah. chat can't guess stop out loud don't guess that's no right. they, they can guess they can guess but like maybe guess in like secret code you know i right, just don't don't guess okay um all right <laughs> okay. we're tied we're tied come up at, with a code <laughs> you guys collectively yeah. come up with a code talk um, amongst yourselves come up with a code yeah, that's right we are right. uh, tied at what? Tied. One each one or piece. zero or a thousand. Does it matter? Should doesn't we make them a thousand? We can make them a thousand. Yes, a thousand Tie's each. a tie. Great. Yeah. Next question. In trapped sisters, two sisters are trapped <laughs> in an unlikely scenario. What is the scenario? Ooh, okay. 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 Option A. They are sisters <laughs> who are trapped in a closet. How? Option B. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could happen. You, it, closets are dangerous. Uh, option B: s- They are sisters who are trapped in the sauna. Ooh, okay. that'd okay. be tough. Okay. That'd be bad. Yeah, okay. unlikely scenario. That's the key key thing. Here. Oh, you're right. Uh, option C: They are sisters who are trapped in the pool. Okay. Maybe the pool got co- co- covered over top of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And option D, they are sisters who are trapped in a deep freezer. Oh, Ooh, trapped sisters would... is the title. Trapped taking sisters turns on who has to go type. first. You Do we have a, another unrelated clip what? to play? There or? is not an okay. unrelated clip, but that would have been really fun if I did that. <laughs> All the clips <laughs> just are for funsies. Yes, <laughs> and they give away that one of them is not the answer. Um, right. My my gut says freezer. I don't know. What are you thinking though? Are we working together? <laughs> or are no, we playing against we're playing each other? against each other. Do you want to go first this time? Then I'll go first next. Okay, time. that's fine. Okay. I my gut says freezer. I do kind of think pool. I think that's scary. I do feel like there was a movie that I there, see. It, it was Night Swim that just came out. Yeah, like, we last, saw it in the theater a couple months ago. Yeah. Did you see it? Yes. Yeah, we did see Night Swim. Where it's like a possessed pool. Yeah, yeah. It but it's really but strong. Silly. First, no, but I'm thinking about. I'm thinking done. about somehow. I feel like I saw a trailer for something where the literal pool cover goes over top and you can't get out of it. Ugh. You know, like on your on your pool. Yeah. That would, that. Would oh, you brutal. have you have that. He I had, don't have a retractable pool cover. The pool cover for my pool has to be put but in if by I professionals. Eat, you know, each night you close it up okay. so that no yeah. debris gets in it or something like yeah. that. I feel yeah. like it's vaguely, but I'm going to go with freezer. Okay. Yeah, okay. my gut was in between freezer and sauna. Um, I don't. I thought pool, it didn't sound believable at all, but that could be Patrick's delivery and it could be on purpose. Closet sounds so basic it might just be true if it's an old yeah, None lifetime. of us are talking about the closets. Old lifetime movie, you have a, a small budget, that makes sense. Just to make it interesting, I, I was between freezer and sauna. You chose freezer. I'm going to go with sauna. I think sauna's a good pick, Dan. All right, here we go. What is okay. it, Patrick? All right. So, of course, all these things have been have happened in a lifetime movie. Of uh, course, you know for sure. <laughs> uh, but the two sisters, the trapped sisters, were trapped in the pool with the cover. Like, oh, wow! Oh. You were so close, yeah. Bran. When did this come out? <laughs> This was like right when I started my podcast, like oh my in 2016. Gosh. So you might have actually listened to that episode, which is why it was like creepy in yeah. your brain. Yeah, um, I, it's definitely here. Like I, I man, it, it is very unlikely. And yeah, the the one of the sisters loses her like engagement or wedding ring in the bottom, and the sisters are diving in to close the pool up on them. Yes, That's how it happened. You knew yeah. it. You, know, you so, knew it. Uh, this I believe. So my wife and I do love watching bad like disaster type movies. Sharknado, if you Sharknado. will. Sharknado. Yeah. We just watched one a few mm-hmm. months ago about these two people that get stuck on a ski lift. 
uh, oh. which was unfortunate at not like overnight and they freeze and stuff. But I do think yeah. I've seen this uh, trailer and what and trying to find wow. a, a movie with my wife. Man, I should have gone with my gut. But I didn't know gut. it was Lifetime. I think that's uh, what, what I got. My gut says yeah. freezer is what you my said. gut did say freezer. So you but did the, but that gut. has been a Lifetime movie. <laughs> okay. He has been the person has been stuck in the yeah, freezer. So. All of them have been. So yeah. That isn't. Love Man. it. Love it. Still one to one. Okay. Thousand to a thousand. Thousand to a thousand. Here we go. We're still batting a thousand. Two more questions in this in this um what's it called segment, and um, they'll go pretty quick. So how they uh, die? Who do, how, how they die? How they die? Best friends die a lot in lifetime movies, as yes. you guys know. Um, and that's why we hold friend, each other close. That's why we do. Yeah, you never know. It's, never know. It's very dangerous. No, David. The today. best friend in the movie Psycho Stripper <laughs> is a wannabe dancer. Not a stripper. She wants to be a legit dancer. And she ultimately faces an uh, uh, untimely death. How did she die? Wow. Option A, she was impaled by a pool cue. Okay. Option B, she falls off the pole and hits her head, like the stripper pole. <laughs> the okay. pole. Okay. Got it. So wait, say yeah. the first one again. It's pool cue. Uh, I, know, I just want to hear him say it. Okay. Uh, impaled by a pool cue okay and then say the second one <laughs> she falls off the pole what are you doing and hits her head I, I know i they sound the same you say huh? pull and pull pull yeah. and pull yeah. the same yeah. yes that was that was all i was hoping stripper to hear. pool yeah you know, it's pool. a maryland it's a maryland thing it's the, uh, that O. um it's a tricky op- option c chopped with a sexy fireman stripper's axe <laughs> oh my god d <laughs> Why did we need to know if it was a fi- sexy fireman stripper? That was implied. Because where would she get the axe? Uh, D. A regular fireman. <laughs> <laughs> Strangled from the back seat of her car after a dance rehearsal. Okay. You go first. Oh, I'm in between A and D here. Uh, the candy. I think it's either strangled from the back seat of her car because it's a very lifetime thing. Very or lifetime. it's I with a pool cue because it's just like... She wasn't a stripper. You said she was a dancer that wasn't a stripper. So the da- falling off the pole one, I think, doesn't make much sense. Mm-hmm. Strangled of the backseat of the car. It's either a throw-in that he threw in just because it sounds so obvious, or that's right. I'm going to go with yeah. A. I'm going to go with A, pull Q to the I. Final answer. Lock, lock it in. Okay. I uh, one I don't know why a sexy fireman stripper would bring a real axe that seems <laughs> yeah. problematic and as like, far as yeah. a prop goes as far as a prop go <laughs> I'm going to go with the stripper pole I think maybe there was some of that going on to help pay the bills maybe to become a mm-hmm. to become a more established yeah. dancer of sorts and maybe that uh life got out of hand and it's ultimately what led to her uh, demise okay all right here okay. we go here we go. Yes. So the best friend in Psycho Stripper, who was a wannabe dancer, uh, faced her untimely death by being impaled by a pool cue. Yeah. 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 Let's go. <laughs> and he takes the lead. Yeah. And it is gruesome. It is a, one of the most gruesome things I've ever seen on Lifetime. What's the like, context? How does it happen? I don't know. She's like running away from the from the psycho stripper, and somehow they're in a pool room, and she just gets a pool cue. Classic wow. in her in her belly. Pool cue impalement there. Man, that's tough. Happens in the, the belly. Yeah. Holy cow. In the belly. That takes the some belly. serious yeah. I force. It was to the eye. Which yeah, I, I did I guess, too. I don't yeah. know why we both thought I. Am I yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the belly. Right. Okay, final question in this segment. Okay. In the movie "Killing All My Sisters." <laughs> What happened Madison. in that one? Out of curiosity. <laughs> yes. Well, oh this gosh. is what this is what we're getting to. Oh. Madison turns out to be the killer. Spoiler alert. Uh, uh, of all her sisters? Of all of them. Yeah. I would assume yeah. the she, sister that's still alive is the one that did the killing. But, you know, <laughs> that's <just> me. <laughs> she um, was sleeping with the president, the, the president's. Uh, of the sorority she was sleeping with her boyfriend and trying and killing to keep everyone everyone like quiet about it okay wow how many sorority sisters did oh she kill? sorority sisters all oh, right now we're on board okay yeah. got it not president of the united states and not biological and not her biological sister. sisters yes, got, got it, it. Yeah. i see how i worded that question could leave you with a lot of questions <laughs> <laughs> we've cracked games we cracked it wide open. It is shattered. Sorority, sorority, sisters. Yes. The title doesn't give that away. Killing but, all but it's my implied. sisters. 
Okay. okay. All right. So how did how did she die, okay. Madison? How many sisters did she? Ooh, kill? how many did she kill? Yes. Option A. Ten. Ten sisters. <laughs> Option B. <laughs> Patrick Smaller now voicing the SAT. Patrick, can I ask you a question? <laughs> did yes, you yes. did Ten you Ten sisters? Did you did you forget to do multiple choice for this one? Um well, yes, but uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The last okay. one's going to be like frogs. 10 sisters, 6 <laughs> sisters, 12 sisters, 6 frogs. <laughs> What? Okay, we're going with with A is ten sisters. B, Got it. Yeah, sisters. B is four sisters. <laughs> C is zero sisters. Whoa. And D is one sister. Okay. Now <laughs> zero and one seem unlikely. <laughs> yes. Um Leads me to ten and four. Mm-hmm. Ten is quite the spree. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough time. I don't know if there's enough time. We got an 84 minute movie, ten sisters. That's a lot of sisters per. <laughs> Too many minute. sisters. Too many sisters. <laughs> Four doesn't seem it like would. enough. Four seems slightly too low to make it a full movie. I'm going ten sisters. So I my whole thing was zero or one have to be out because it's sisters plural. That those two are eliminated. <laughs> 10 sounds like a lot of sisters for an 85-minute movie. Four seems to be the number. But what if she doesn't successfully kill any of them? Oh, she's that's just really the bad thing at, that's she's bad at kill, bad I at think it's, she's bad at kills. She's bad at sister kills. Either four or zero. Give me B, okay. four. B, four. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it. What? Do it. Do what? Zero. No. B, four. Final answer. Lock it in. Okay. Okay. Um, so in killing all my sisters, Mass Madison kills one of her sisters. Oh no! The D one. The movie is called <laughs> "Killing All My Sisters," plural, yeah. and she kills one sister. She sure does. The Damn. one at the beginning of the movie, Brandon, and she tries to kill everybody else, but Brandon, she doesn't do it. Right there. All, <laughs> all my all. All my all of them. All one of them. Yeah. All of, all one of my sisters. Just the one, but all she, my sisters. Did she attempt to kill more than one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She attempts so she's to kill. Trying like, to kill like all her five. sisters. She only successfully kills one of her sisters. Ten's a lot. <laughs> Ten's a lot. Ten would have been a I can't believe you went with ten. I was going to go with every one of those you didn't go with. Ten or four. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. after segment one, we are yeah. uh, Dan is two thousand. I have one thousand. Right. I'm up by a thousand. Right. Well, let's take a quick break. We'll come back with with game number two. A part of the Lifetime Game Show Palooza here on Deck the the Hallmark. Who doesn't love a classic chocolate chip cookie? Famous Amos has been making them since the 70s, 1975 to be exact. With semi-sweet chocolate chips and a satisfying crunch, it's everything classic in one bite-sized cookie. And fans couldn't get enough. That's right. You'll find our original recipe, the one you know and love, in every bag of Famous Amos original chocolate chip cookies. Find Famous Amos anywhere you buy your favorite snacks. At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent. Being there day and night. And building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica. Empathy is our best policy. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Deck the Hallmark, Deck the Lifetime on Court, doing our annual, (laughs) second annual, Lifetime Game Show Palooza. We're going to do another one in May, and then we're all set (laughs) until 2027. (laughs) Right. Yeah, every year. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Patrick, we are tied yeah. after, uh, not tied, uh, Dan's up by 1,000. Uh, after Why are we even playing? After segment if number you're one. make stuff up. Uh, set up set up what we got up next. Set up what we got up. Okay, up next uh, is a, a segment. Uh, well, oh, well, I have to lead into the segment. So, you know, um, I was doing some research, and I found out that Miss Vivica A. Fox has been in the most Lifetime movies. Wow. That. Have, of any other actor she's been in 
uh, so many. 25 of those have been a part of a series called The Wrong Series. 25? Uh, I had no idea that Vivica A. Fox had been in this many Lifetime movies. Yes. No idea. So my next segment is called Right to be Wrong. Nice. Where, Nicely done. Uh, thank you. Where um, in Right to be Wrong, you guys are going to be played a clip. Uh, and in the clip, there is... Um, it's going to give you a little preview, and you guys, based off of that preview, have to guess what the title of the movie is. The wrong, you know, something. The wrong swimmer. The wrong... Got um, it. So she's you know. in 25 movies With that are titled the, title. the Wrong Blank. Yes. Exactly. And um, after you guys guess, we will play the rest of the clip, which will have Miss Vivica A. Fox saying the line, the titular, what, titular line, of the movie, which she does in every one of these. She pops in and she's like, mm, I guess you chose the wrong podcast house. Fantastic. Mm. I love that. I so love we'll, we'll, we'll start with clip number two. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, Brent, you'll hear uh, you'll hear a, a very uh, obvious segue. Great. Uh, great. Me. We will. So wait, so I turn it off at a certain point. Yeah, you're going to pause it when you hear the um, oh, the boy. tone. Oh boy! You'll, you'll hear, okay. you'll hear it, and there's a space between it, so don't worry. So okay. let's go to our first clip, and let's see if we can uh, guess the title. Okay, and while we do that, you'll uh, fix your microphone input. Here we go. Oh gosh, okay, ladies, I have to ask, what's next? A lot of studying. <laughs> I think after this, I want to go back to being a good girl. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm proud of you. That boy was a monster. He was terrible. He was a sick, twisted human being. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I, I knew you would know it. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, we did. We knew it. That's right. I, I'm going to go. Do we get options? Um, no. So <laughs> it, your only clue is that it's the wrong something. Okay. So based off of the clip, it's the wrong something. I'm going to go with... It's my turn to go first, go but I have no idea. So you, if you have something, you can go for it. I'm going to go with the wrong nurse. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, the wrong. It sounded like they were in school, like college. Okay. But we just mm -hmm. did something on sorority sisters. The wrong, the wrong co-ed. Yeah. The wrong co-ed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's play the rest of the clip. Okay, we got to play it from the beginning, ask. unfortunately. But it's oh, great. no. No, but it's great. It's fine. A lot it's of uh, studying. A lot of studying. A lot of studying. I want to go back to being a good girl. Oh. I'm going to go back to being a good girl. What the? I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Wrong call girl? That boy was a monster. He was that terrible. Could... He was a sick, twisted human being. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to post these on social media as well. He was the wrong boy next door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah was the wrong he yep. was the wrong if i had known that he was the wrong i think i'd have still wouldn't have chosen that but i'd have been better All right. okay well it yeah it doesn't necessarily follow any line of like logic like okay, the great. villain's always this the is person. exciting i love this game. Um, have you seen yeah. the boy next door with j-lo uh uh patrick of course i have where yeah. he uh he gives her an original <laughs> original copy of the odyssey <laughs> It's, it's the most romantic gesture. Yeah, that thousand-year-old book he just had laying around. Hey, you he know, I don't, I don't, I don't know his family. A, fir a first edition of the Odyssey is it in stone? <laughs> it's one of my favorite I, scenes in movie history. I, I have a first good. edition of the Odyssey for you. Sorry, I love it. All right, are we ready for number two? Yeah, and I think I figured out how to how to pause. So that's good. It. Oh, nice. Damn that's it. good. That's good. All right. So uh, with my homies. we're still at 2,000 to 1,000. Here we go. Here we go. The next uh, part of the wrong okay. thing. Yeah. Please, Devin, put the knife down so nobody gets hurt. <laughs> oh, you're really not in any position to be given orders. Are you, Ben? <sighs> Please, Devin, it's not too late. We can all still be together just like you wanted, just like my father wanted. No. It's too late for that, Hannah. Just like it's too late for your father and that bitch girlfriend of his. Just like it was too late for my mother when she walked into my father and that whore. <laughs> Damn it.
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the wrong stepsister. The wrong stepsister is what I'm going with based upon my limited knowledge of the family tree that I heard about from our said killer. The wrong stepsister. Okay. I'm going to go with the wrong sister wife. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, you went there. Um, one thing for the listeners, because they can't see the video, um, that loud clunking sound at the end is Miss Vivica A. Fox coming into the scene with a hockey puck and knocking out yeah. um, the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, she says the following. Hit it. Looks like I hired the wrong cheerleader coach. Oh, <laughs> man. Man, <laughs> this <laughs> is the best game because I'm currently winning. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. And, yes, the so the cheerleader coach got the job yeah. at the high school to get revenge on, you know, for all the stuff that happened in her childhood. Why, why is okay, Fox hiring a cheerleading coach? Why is that her job? <laughs> Who I knows? think she might have been the principal. Of course. Of course. And there's she always has like, I, how many times is she going to be wrong? Man? I love that she, at the end of all of these movies, <laughs> is, says the like, title of the movie. This is a new podcast yes. called The Wrong Podcast. Like, how have we not started this podcast already? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, Literally 20, oh, guys, 25 built all in. All day. I love it. <laughs> 25 these, built these in. Movies, they always are pure a delight always a delight how many more do we Never, have please that, say it's 100 how many more we we did four we did four okay we have two for more the, for this because okay <laughs> it All could right. be anything so currently we've had yeah, no, two, no success. One thousand. it's insurmountable no here we go uh, here we go i'll kill you my funny valentine oh, do it already do it Emily. shoot me <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that you two were okay. Is he dead? I sure hope not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Your turn to go first. <clears throat> well, I the only logical answer after hearing it is <laughs> the wrong Valentine. Right, okay. that's, a, that's not that's not a bad guess. And that's that's the most logical uh, guess, but logic yeah. hasn't mattered. No, no. cheerleading coach so off far. The map. I'm mm-hmm. gonna go with the wrong Valentine. Um, yeah, okay. I don't like you can't have a right stalker, so wrong stalker wouldn't work. Uh, because he mm-hmm. sounded like a stalker, like he just. Um, I'm gonna go with the wrong Uber driver, the wrong Ooh. Uber driver, or taxi oh. taxi driver. Some can I get both of those? Yeah, uh, okay, I would allow. Yeah, all right, it, hit it. Yeah, it's clearly not right. <laughs> it's, Here we go. Can't wait. I can't wait. I hope it's not Valentine. Emily, it looks like you picked the wrong Valentine. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Woo! <laughs> it was too easy. It too was, easy. It was right there. He Man. said it. Man. Yeah. Woo! And if he didn't say my funny Valentine, then it would have never. I mean, that was no, probably the only thing in the yeah. movie that had to do with Valentine's Day. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, there is not a crazier high than getting an answer right in this game. In segment two but of to, the game but, show, Palooza. But to be fair, had I really wanted to play to win, I would have also yeah, said Valentine because I think that was the answer. I but still didn't think it was going to be it. So no, I thought it was going to be, it looks like you chose the wrong circus ringmaster. Like, <laughs> like, I, I don't know what she's going to say. She has to say it at the end of the movie. Well, the good news looks is, looks like you chose the wrong tax advisor. Like what? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> the good news is, is we have one more left. Yeah, and you yeah. do get to go first. Two thousand to two thousand. So maybe here we there's go. maybe there's something here. Okay. All right. Wow. You know me. I. I never stopped loving you. I. I even have the flower that you gave me when we first met. Do you want to see? Oh wow. Pepper spray. She pepper sprays them. So, like, it sounds like she was 
cheating and, and like was cheating with this guy and he turned out to be awful. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like she chose the wrong Mr. Uh, wrong. Uh, um, sounds like you chose the wrong adulterer, cheater, the wrong cheater. Let's go with the wrong cheater. Final answer. I'm not happy about it. Okay. Okay. Brand, what are you thinking? I'm going to go with the wrong lover. That's not a bad one. The wrong lover is what I should have gone with. Dang it. You're uh, going to be winning. Okay. We'll see what and happens. let's hear Miss Vivica A. Fox walks it's into the clearly scene wrong she, lover. You're right. So after the uh, the girl pepper sprays him and, and runs to safety, Miss Vivica A. Fox walks on. Yeah, she does to say her big line. She, yeah. she pepper sprays him and says the following. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, now she does the follow. Looks like you messed with the wrong cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> what's great is what's great about it's this not series. Even close. What's it great? Can be the killer or you? I it know it's not consistent yeah, about who consistent. is the wrong that we're talking about. Right. <laughs> I love it's that. Like die hard. It can be die hard. It can be die hard with a vengeance. It can be a good day to die hard. It can be any of those things. It's like you yeah. chose the wrong wow. day to fly commercial. Like, I don't know. So that means that we're once we're again tied, tied oh, going into the final round, which we'll get Sheesh. to after this break here on Deck the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent. Being there day and night. And building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica. Empathy is our best policy. When it comes to teaching kids and teens about money, practice makes perfect. That's where Greenlight comes in. With a debit card and money app of their own, kids learn to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest. Parents send instant money transfers, create custom chores, and automate allowance, while kids track their spending, set savings goals, and practice money skills they can use today and for life. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. You're listening to the wrong podcast. Oof. I like what you did uh, Welcome back. We are heading into round three of the second annual Lifetime Game Show Palooza hosted by Patrick of yeah. La- LifetimeOfCourt.com. Mm-hmm. Patrick, mm-hmm. set up round number three. Okay. So for round number three, well, I, I brought two different options. So I guess we can do <laughs> – so we could do a Candace uh, question. Yes. <laughs> and then I think I, the other one I can have is like a tiebreaker. I, I love guess. that. Let's okay. do it. Good. I like that idea. Okay. So let's uh, do our favorite segment of this week and every week or year. <laughs> That's right. What you say, Candace Cameron Burry. I'm a wedding day. Catch up, okay. Candace hates the games. Candace Cameron Burry. Drinking rosé, eating creme brulee, can't share with me, get a scam of beret. An inspired rhyme, oh. as always. Mm. Patrick. Hunter I Ryman. I love okay, it. Okay, so... Uh, for our tiebreaker today, Candace Kim Bray, uh was recently on The View, yeah. the show that she hosted, um, and she was talking about an upcoming movie. Uh, the the wigs were terrible. Um, it, <laughs> in the movie in the or on the show? Showed, in, in the in the clip they showed, the wigs oh, were okay. out of control. Love it. Um, it, it looked like a parody <laughs> of uh, of a TV movie. Um, it was so so good. I, but that is not. Uh, the question, the question that I have as our tiebreaker, uh, and we're going to, um, I don't know how we're going to do this, but um, <laughs> we're going to name, 
this is a conundrum. Okay. Um, whoever can name the most co-hosts that were on at the same time as Candace Cambray wins. Do I play on the, the view? Do we go uh, of, of when she was co-hosting or on the clip co- I'm about to play? No, when she, when was, she was co-hosting. co-hosting. When she was co-hosting. So the clip doesn't matter? The clip is the answer. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, wow. So how many so correct you, answers are there? There's um, one, two, three, four, five. Well, if you count Candace, um, well, there's five. How, how about this? We, uh, how about we do this? We, we alternate. So if you take one, I can't take it. And we each get okay. four guesses. <laughs> and there's no wrong answers, but whoever gets the most right is the winner. So, like, you put say one, yes. I say one, you say one, I say one. We can't repeat. So, if you say a certain like it, like let's say that Fred Durst was host of the View, and you said Fred Durst, I cannot hey. then say Fred Durst. Wow. Does that make sense? Sure, perfect. I okay. love that. That's good. That's and it good. was your turn to go first. Um, I am gonna go with um. Oh gosh, the 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 cheetah girl. That uh, is now married to uh, Israel Hooten. Uh, what is her name? Sabrina. You can't tell her. Sabrina. What are I was going to say Sabrina from the Cheetah Girls. You can't. You can't tell him. Help him. He's got to come up with the name. This is serious. Sabrina. Sabrina Hooten is what, what, what she is called now. Um, but I, Sabrina from the Cheetah Girls. Unbelievable. Okay. I believe her, by producer I believe, Aaron Shea helping here. <laughs> oh, uh, Sabrina uh, Brad Bra- uh, starts with a B or something. Bra- oh, Bra- she name. already gave you the first name. She may as well give you the last name. Oh my name gosh! Too. Stop. This, this is an asterisk. You That's knew fine. who I was Wait. talking about. I, I'm going to go with. <laughs> okay. Okay. Aaron, would he have guessed her? I would have written down Cheetah Girl. Cheetah girl. And I would not have counted. All right. One of my guesses okay. is going to be Whoopi Goldberg. Probably wrong. Go ahead. <sighs> Uh, Joy uh, Behar, Behar, whatever her name is. Uh, yeah. Ma- Meredith Vieira. <laughs> okay. Um. Gosh, I think I've exp- yeah. uh, I've done it all now. <laughs> uh, Doctor Oz. <laughs> uh, oh Ma- my God, Ma- Megan McCain. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't think she's on there with her. She it's was on, on there, there briefly. Point. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Vivica A. Fox. Vivica Perfect. A. At least it's a woman this time. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go with. <sighs> we already said Joy Behar and Meredith Vera. Yeah. Uh, and Whoopi. And Whoopi. And uh, uh, the Cheetah yeah. Girl. I'm going to go with Melissa Joan Hart. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Hit that button and let me see how oh, yeah, I lost one to button, nothing because Aaron helped. <laughs> and humanitarian Whoopi Goldberg is back as moderator. Now from just okay, that's one. I got one. Absolutely ridiculous. Joy Behar, celebrated performer and one of okay, the original one. View co-hosts, returns to the table with her signature wit. I've met you before. You've always been very charming. <laughs> Scared. Now we're going to get the other. You guys are tough. People. <laughs> Full house actress and Dancing with the Stars alum, Candace Cameron Bure, right. is making her View debut. I view think debut. this season's going to be super spicy and really fun, and I'm just looking forward to the camaraderie. Along with mm. our own. And it turned out well. GMA weekend co anchor and Emmy winning ABC News journalist. I think we have Who? a great representative. Paula Ferris. Oh. Never heard of her. And season 18 regular Michelle Collins is signing on as co-host. This group is incredible. We work well together. It's going to be fun. So I'm Sabrina from the Sabrina uh, thing, Cheetah so Girls? Oh, not on there? one more. Well, actress, producer, Raven Simone. Is Raven Simone! Raven. Dang it! I knew she yeah. was on the show and I That's forgot on you. it! That's on you right there. It's not on there, me. You were so close. Were so we Sabrina tried? from the Cheetah Girls was on The View though, right? Um, At some no, point. I, you're thinking of like Adrian Bailon, I think, oh! was on. Oh, didn't even have She was on one. the the talk or the other one. Mm. Um, okay, well, you guys are tied again. So so Sabrina's the one tie, that does the, dis- the decom breaker. podcast, right? You are a- Adrian, really locked in Adrian on Adrian is the one who is married. That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Because I knew it was Raven. Whoa. Okay. So you helped him be wrong? I knew that he was talking about Sabrina, Adrian. but I wasn't giving mm, yeah. away an answer. I was talking yeah. about it. It wasn't right. There would have been some real collusion here, is all I'm saying. <laughs> collusion. But next time, 
Game, game Show Palooza Part Three brand. Call me. That's but right. let it yeah. let it be known yeah, that I really that I did know we will be some that. Girls. <laughs> That's funny. That's I was funny. okay. I was close. So we're st- we're still tied. I brought tie a tiebreaker. Tie second annual Game Show Palooza. Here we are. Two thousand to two thousand. Here we are. All right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. 3, you, you each got a point in that round. 3, 000, That's right. Do we, feel better do we get to, here. since we have thousands of points, should we do a wager? Why would we? There's one question, Brian. Yeah. I don't know what That's you That's how they do it at the end. We've cracked games. That's how they do it at the end of That's Jeopardy. That's how Jeopardy does it. One, one question, the they question. wager. Let's just do the question. Okay. This is a, um, <laughs> you know, what's that? A hide and seek or seek and find type of thing. So you're going to find. I need a little the, bit more. Um, <laughs> it's what a is, you know, a seek and, or seek and find, depending on what you would think. Those things in the back of Highlights Magazine yes. where you like find the things that don't belong. So this is a, a list of the upcoming Lifetime movies, okay? Okay. Um, one of them is a fake title. The other ones are real. One okay. of them is a fake title. The other ones are real. So we have to guess yep. which the one fake. is the fake one. How about we get a notes app out? Aaron's got it. Aaron's got it. Unless you want to talk more ish about my girl, Aaron. No. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that how about you and I guess the fake one and write it down where only we can how see it? We text it to Patrick. Uh, okay. And we text, it, we text it to Patrick. Yeah. There okay. we go. I All have right. Patrick's number. I don't know if you do. I, me and Patrick are you friends. Both, you both texted me today, so That's right. <laughs> oh, we're okay, good. Fine. All right. Your options are of upcoming Lifetime movies in the next like month or so. Wow. Uh, my child. Ugh, hold on. Okay. My child. Hold you on. Know, I think that one is <laughs> fake. Oh, my oh. child. Hold on. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Wow, you know these Lifetime wow. movies can be confusing. <laughs> My child has my doctor's face. Okay. My child has my doctor's face. Okay. There's no way. There's no way that that movie A exists or B doesn't exist and you came up with the title. I don't know which one is more ludicrous. Right. Okay. Well, there, there you my go. Child has my oh, you guys also face. know me. I have to say I have to say them all with like a, a thing. Uh, up next. Have you seen my son? Okay. Have you seen my son? He's okay, my missing child, child trying yeah, to find. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my child has my doctor's face. <laughs> a chef's deadly revenge. Ugh. A chef's deadly. A revenge. chef's this deadly is, revenge. This is, we're just in real murky waters here. <laughs> Killer mother-in-law. And these awesome, Killer so generic. Mother-in-law. Aside from my child has my doctor's face, <laughs> yeah. which is the that true one star. Is sticking out like a, do- a, a child, here. like a do- like child doctor. <laughs> A deadly threat to my family. <laughs> a deadly threat to my family. There been a movie that named that yet. <laughs> and then finally, mommy meanest. Mommy, mommy, mommy meanest. Now, only one of these is not real. Only one is not real. Only one. Go ahead, Aaron. I was just saying, if it helps, I was thinking. My my first read, my child has my doctor's face. I was thinking some sort of facial surgery but i think it's just she went in for like in vitro and he swapped the sperm with his own uh, okay that is what I'm yeah. So yeah 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 i was thinking that one was fake but now it could be so real. uh Patrick, i was thinking when, too like when dwight cuts off the face of the uh, cpr <laughs> dummy and puts it on yeah, his face look, yeah. that's what i thought of first yeah. yeah and then i thought it was um, more possible so that could be face up if when we text you <laughs> if we're both wrong don't yeah. announce the right answer. Take those two answers off the board. Does that okay. make sense? Okay, that's I love that. That's okay, fun. great. All right. Um, okay, I've got the one that I think is fake. All right, I just texted. I, I just, just texted I just sent Patrick it in. as well. Send it in. You are the weakest link. Phones down. Heads up. Seven up. Okay. So. Oh, hold on. My phone's in airplane mode. <laughs> God, you guys, we cracked games. We cracked it. Uh, All right, here we go. Here we games go. never stood a chance. So Bran chose a deadly threat to my family. The vaguest of titles. That's a Vegas very good titles. choice. That's what I was in between that one and the one I chose. And Dan chose. Have you seen my son? <laughs> Just can't. Be Have right. you seen my son? 
Okay, so those are both off the board because those are both real, real yeah. titles. Wow, okay. coming up. All right, okay. coming up. All so right. you are left with the following. You are left with <clears throat> my child has my my child face. has my doctor's face. <laughs> my child has my doctor's face. Is it? Is there a question mark at the end or not? No. Okay. My child has my doctor's face. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> a chef's uh-huh. deadly revenge. Killer mother-in-law or mommy meanest. Mommy meanest. Uh, we both sent him in. Okay. Brand says mommy meanest. <laughs> I was between that both. one and mine. Yeah. And Dan says killer mother-in-law. Yep. And both of these are the mother themes for Mother's Day coming up, right? So, uh, you know, you would think that both of them would be real. Oh. But one of them is, is, is the fake. One of them is the fake. Okay. Okay. Aaron, do you have a, a, a idea of which one could be the fake? Aaron, do you have an idea? Do you, do you know? Um, I don't know. I think killer mother-in-law. Mommy Meanest sounds so weird like he made it up and it's the last one. That's what makes me think it might be Mommy Meanest. Mommy Meanest. <laughs> the fake Lifetime movie title is not Mommy Meanest. It is killer yes! mother Let's go. There you go. So Dan wins. Yay. You know, it's an uphill battle today. I had to play against the producer and the host. Um, <laughs> I had to go above and beyond. Gave 110%. Uh, and yeah. the calls went my way at the end. And um, I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. And I, it's something that I'll carry with me. I'd like to thank God first and foremost. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah. To be the second annual uh, winner, is it, mean, it's, it, mean, it's, it means more. You know, it means more. <laughs> Here on Deck the Home. Usually so. um, a speech isn't required. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Um, so uh, A Killer of Mother-in-Law is, has never been a Lifetime movie title. And there's been many iteration, iterations like uh, like Killer-in-Law or like, uh, I don't know, another type of mother-in-law in, in pun. But yeah, Killer of Mother-in-Law never been a Lifetime wow. movie title. Wow. What but- is the... Um- that my doctor has my. It's got to be like it turns out that he's the dad, child, son. What is it? It is like uh, he's um, one of those doctors that is taking the, um, like uh, I guess like yeah, infertilizing like uh, women with himself rather than like their donor, yeah, what or is whatever. That? Yeah, I called it. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Not great, not great. So that one comes out this weekend. We'll see how it goes. New mm. segment. You just give them the title, and they have to guess the plot. That's pretty Ooh, good. That's or, not bad. or reverse. You give the plot, and they maybe for the third annual. Third annual. <laughs> right. Third annual there you go. That's the wrong game show podcast. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Brain, how's it feel uh, to be a loser? Good? I'm real peeved, and uh, maybe we'll the first win. I didn't get any con- confetti on Philo, which I thought for sure. Um, I was going to get, uh, you know, give it a second. Wait for it. There it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Um, while we did it. Yeah. (laughs) Fireworks. Lifetime, lifetime on cork.com to follow all of Patrick's reviews. (sighs) All right, whatever. Yeah. Merry Christmas. I'm out of here. <laughs> Deck the Hallmark's The Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. Thank you. Thank for you. more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. <laughs> oh, man, what a time. All right. We did it. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility It comes with being a new parent, being there day and night, and building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica. Empathy is our best policy. Hey, parents. Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. 
you can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent, being there day and night, and building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica, empathy is our best policy. When it comes to teaching kids and teens about money, practice makes perfect. That's where Greenlight comes in. With a debit card and money app of their own, kids learn to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest. Parents send instant money transfers, create custom chores, and automate allowance, while kids track their spending, set savings goals, and practice money skills they can use today and for life. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent, being there day and night, and building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica, empathy is our best policy. Hey parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. When it comes to teaching kids and teens about money, practice makes perfect. That's where Greenlight comes in. With a debit card and money app of their own, kids learn to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest. Parents send instant money transfers, create custom chores, and automate allowance, while kids track their spending, set savings goals, and practice money skills they can use today and for life. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast.